Welcome to the Automotive Blockchain channel, everyone. Hey, welcome back. This is the Automotive Blockchain and you are getting on the bus. Thank you all those who have subscribed. I do appreciate that. Also appreciate all of the wonderful comments. Um, today, we are going to be getting into what you see on your screen right now. This wonderful XR, that extended reality experience that is brought to you by the company Hollow Ride, which is a spinoff from Audi, uh, and how they are working with the Elrond blockchain. So let's go ahead and kick this thing off. But before we do, let's go ahead and give a big love dub from my heart to yours, just for joining the video and joining the channel. So first, let's go ahead and look at the um, the automotive blockchain watch list. What is it? The blockchain watch list is just those particular DLTs, the blockchain industry, etc., that is doing some type of project with the automotive industry. That's why it's called the automotive blockchain watch list. This is not financial advice. This is not for you to go, oh, I get an idea. I'm going to go invest in those things. It's not that. It's just so you can get an idea of the different type of projects in there. Do your own research. Definitely do that because you can lose money in this thing. Uh, I'm just letting you know. All right. So here we go. We have BTC. Uh, we also have Ethereum. I keep those in there, as everyone knows who's listened to this channel before. I keep those in there just as kind of uh, kind of triggers, kind of trends that are going along to see how uh, things compare with uh, those particular currencies. Uh, along with that, we also have USDC. Uh, I like USDC personally just because I use it as a hedge. Um, when I see markets going up, going down, I may take a certain percentage of mine and shift them off into USDC to kind of hold some of that profit. Um, so some of you can do that, some of you don't. Let me know what you do in the uh, in the comment section below. Uh, IOTA, IOTA is in there at 72 cents. Now, in my opinion, once again, you'll be doing your own research on this. I think any of them on this list, if the way that the market is going now is a gimme. Um, there are gonna be a couple that I personally back the truck up on, but, uh, and I'll get to that in just a second. So we have uh, Engine Coin, Ontology. Um, I'd also look into the Ontology Gas, actually, in, the, in that one. Um, because I think that's another good one to buy. Um, now, some of these are, you know, if you notice, a lot of these are below a dollar. And that's one of the things I like about it. Being below a dollar is huge, especially for those of you that are out there and you're trying to figure out where you can get stuff. Uh, you know, you got a budget you got to work with. So that's one of the things you look at that. Skip it down. We have Ocean Protocol, um, IOTEX, Energy Web, uh, scrolling right on down. I wanted to focus on one particular one, and that is VeChain. Uh, I've really enjoyed looking at VeChain. Uh, over the uh, past couple of uh, two years that I've been watching them and uh, I have to admit it's it's definitely something where I think they're undervalued there's a couple of other other ones on here I think are undervalued but VeChain is definitely gonna be one of those another one I think is uh, an up-and-coming one and uh, as far as this particular uh, watch list is concerned and that is IOTEX uh, right now I think it's at a good place at uh, less than two cents uh, definitely something to watch out for as well as StormX StormX uh, still new to the scene but it'll be interesting to see where they go um, it's a definitely an interesting, we'll just call it a web mall per se, uh, that uh, will be interesting to watch as things develop and this new economy starts to make that shift into full tokenization. Uh, so I'll be doing a video very shortly here uh, just on some of the recent stuff with Visa and uh, what they're doing with a number of different um, number of different uh, banks and cryptocurrency exchanges, etc. So there you have it, the Automotive Blockchain Channel watch list. Uh, let's get over into Elrond. Elrond deploys or excuse me, Holoride deploys Elrond blockchain and NFTs in prep for the 2022 market. That's right. So as you see in the screen, uh, this wonderful uh, person's going through a virtual environment. And just so you know, so Holoride, the auto spinoff that created an in-vehicle XR passenger entertainment experience. And let me tell you, if you've heard of infotainment before and you've seen these screens and you know everything that's going on, this is literally taking it completely next level. I'm telling you, that's what it is. So they're going to be using the blockchain technology and uh, non-fungible tokens as the next stage of preparation for the for the market. So the company had closed uh, 12 million Series A in April. Um, let me just skip down to the, some of the good stuff, right? So we have down here um, that uh, that with this, they are realistically the blockchain NFTs is Holoride's uh, way of just trying to be internet trendy. Okay, they understand that people are on there and they're using these virtual environments to uh, go around in their virtual worlds and move. And as you see in this particular uh, video of this person as they're riding around, you understand that as the car is driving around, 
the person is actually in a virtual world. And there's going to be a lot of gaming uh, institutions that are going to try to build on this Elrond platform in order to integrate with the driving experience. Could you imagine, instead of the kids saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No. <laughs> now they're literally engaged uh, in a, a new way. Yes, they have the DVD players and they have all that other kind of stuff. But this would be something right in there. And I see this as being certain upgrades in the, uh, in the vehicle systems. So in my opinion, I can completely see on how, and I'll take a breath for a minute. This is gonna be integrated in with Audi, and it's going to be part of the Elrond system, blockchain uh, system. I get that, but could you imagine, also along with that, let's say your mobile device, has this experience in it as well, where you put it on your face uh, and you're driving around right into, let's say, the Waze app or maybe the Google uh, Maps app and it's integrated into that way. That's just something. I'm just saying it's something. Something to keep in mind. All right. So the blockchain and NFTs with this. So as the non-fungible tokens and the gaming industry begin to merge together even more, this is going to be a wild uh, sense of how things are going to be. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So Holoride's immersive in-vehicle media platform doesn't need blockchain to function. Its passenger experiences sync to the real-time motion and location-based data on the vehicle. So content adjusts to the vehicle's motion. Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully you don't get sick. <laughs> Where the blockchain plays a role is to help Holoride fairly and transparently distribute the content and compensate, this is the key folks listening in, compensate developers based on user engagement, time and value distribution. So they're trying to compensate the developers, not you. Now, maybe there may be something coming up in the future that would allow them to add a little bit of a token when you reach certain levels of this uh, driving experience. Uh, you know, you may be able to go through there. I do not recommend you play this while driving. I could picture someone who wants to win a Darwin Award and decides to put this on while they're driving because they think they're in a fully autonomous vehicle and they pop that on and boom, there you go. I don't recommend that. Don't do it if, if you just decide to buy one of these Audis. All right. And I'm pretty sure Audi probably enabled it so that you wouldn't be able to do that while you're driving. Um, anyway, uh, at least I'd like to believe that. So here's what they said. said we said, we want to connect our uh, all our ecosystem partners in a very fair and transparent manner from the beginning and the blockchain technology delivers exactly on that. So I want to go over to the um, the Holoride or excuse me the Elrond website is internet at scale blockchain is live and the, the you guys can go ahead and click the link uh, on this but a highly scalable first and secure blockchain platform for distributed apps enterprise use cases and new internet economy all right. So that is what they were looking at. Go ahead, click on this, uh, dive down in there, but it's going to be for developers, validators. If you yourself are familiar with Elrond, throw some comments in the comment section. I have, this is literally my first time looking into Elrond. I saw this in here and I was like, oh wow, this is pretty cool. So if you know a little bit about it, hey, send some directions my way. I'll, I'll put on, uh, I definitely would like to do another video about this and let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time.